Okay, uh, we did the snail a while back, and this uh, is also another kind of undersung um, still water pattern. That's a water boatman. The fish will sometimes eat these like crazy, and they flitter around in the water kind of... Uh, they're not water skippers, but they uh, do have kind of little paddle legs, and they'll, they'll uh, dart around in the water, and the fish go crazy over them. So this is a, a fairly simple pattern, and... Uh, really consists of three materials and just going to work our way back to about the uh, point right above the barb and <clears throat> the first material is some uh, pheno skin or skinny skin uh, either one would work and I just cut that into a little shape like like this the idea is you want that to be the shape of the the water boatman from the top view and so I'm just going to tie that in right at the uh, point right above the barb so that we have a tie-in point just like that okay now the next piece is just some ice dub uh, UV tan uh, this is one of our one of our better selling dubbings this color especially in the ice dub in general um, this is awesome stuff and so I want to lightly dub a body on this guy. Now, one of the questions we get uh, a lot is, you know, what, at what point do you do a dubbing loop versus just the traditional slap it on and twist it? Well, in this case, we're building more for body, not for bugginess uh, so much. So just this traditional method is sufficient. And I want to build up a little bit of a taper coming from uh, thin to thick as we go up the body. Okay, just a fairly standard body tapered up. And now we're going to grab some crystal flash. I usually do about four strands. And I'm going to figure eight this. Now the stopping point I got about two uh, widths of an eye back from the eye of the hook. And we're just going to cross this over right on top and then figure eight it. Now it doesn't really matter where, how it is right now because this is all going to change when we apply the rest of the body. So, Because if you look at a water boatman, the legs uh, protrude forward and they're, they're paddles and so they'll, they'll help propel the bug through the water. Uh, but we're going to incorporate all that with um, our UV resin when we get to that point. Okay, now we're going to grab the uh, the pheno skin and just pull that over the front and tie that in. Sometimes it helps to have a little uh, hackle plier or something that we can stretch it and wrap it at the same time. Like that. So now our shape is water boatman-esque and obviously this is uh, the, uh, the pheno skin is, is a little, uh, it's not thick, it's not stiff so uh, we'll fix that in a minute though. Um, and so at this point we're done tying so I'm going to go ahead and whip finish. All right, now one of the things, if you look at the naturals, the, the legs are going to be oriented a little bit for, forward and then they paddle, but when they're at rest, they're out at that angle. So rather than try to tie that in at that angle, we'll incorporate some of our UV resin so that we capture it at that position and kind of lock it in there. Um, we'll do that in a second. <clears throat> so the first thing is we're going to grab some... Uh, thick UV clear fly finish and just this this will stiffen up the pheno skin and uh, help give us the shape so we just put a little thin layer and I'll spread it around 
I got my craft stick. Okay, now what you're going to do is I'll pull uh, the legs a little bit forward. Like so. And I'm going to push down some of the resin to the spot where the legs are. And then zap that. See, those will stay right in place. And then we have to add a little bit more for the other side. Once again, just pulling it to the angle. And then that resin that I dubbed or dabbed down in there will stay. And we want these about the body length. Like so. Okay, and then the last thing that we'll do is build up the eyes, or, or kind of the, the thorax area, I guess you could call it, which is just right uh, in this area right here where the legs are. And I'm going to use thick again because I don't want this to uh, go all over the place. And so very carefully just start to build up uh, enough to kind of cover this, the area here where the legs are coming out. What I usually do is I have my craft stick and I just work that in there and then I'm going to zap it right as I get it to the right point. And so you see there it kind of creates a little eye section or head. Then we just do the same thing on the other side. Then the last part you just want to grab some flow and this will cure it tack free. And just a very thin layer, you don't need much of this. And there we go. It's got the nice little shape of the water boatman. And uh, it's got a good contrast with the tan underbelly. And you, just, you can fish that on a strip or an indicator. Uh, it'll catch some fish.